So in this video we're going to look at how we're going to create our very own first VB6 application uh, and in the um, true spirit of programming we're going to create the classic hello world application in VB6 and um, we'll look at how we get Visual Basic 6 loaded up what choices we need to make when the software first loads up um, we'll look at getting our first form built with form controls and adding some code behind it and running it and testing it and we'll also have a quick look at some of the pretty cool things that you can do with VB6 so to get started obviously you need um, to know how to load up the IDE uh, and somebody will tell you if you're not sure how you can find the piece of software um, when we do load it up as standard we get this splash screen and there are choices that need to be made at this point you could load up an existing project one that you've been working on from either of these two tabs or if we start a new program we want to stay on the new tab now there are lots of choices in here most of which you may never use for the purpose of this video we're going to um, double click on standard XE and that's the one we'll use 99% of the time. So when you double click on standard XE we get the screen that we saw in the last video with our um, object window just here and then our code window if you want to swap to that here. With the um, object window open we can maximize that we can make our form a little bit bigger if we need to we're going to draw on our first control and the first control that we're going to use for the hello world application is going to be the command button so we're going to click on that and draw that on you can draw it as nice and big as you like and on it goes so that looks like a button in a piece of software now there are um, different properties that we talked about in the properties window that we can set for the command button, uh, one of which is its name. Now you could just leave it as command one and everything would work just fine, but if we're going to use naming conventions like I talked about in video one, the naming convention prefix for a command button is CMD, so I'll put that in, and I'm going to call this button CMD Go, because my caption is going to be just Go, like that. I could change fonts, if I liked. I could try and change the background colour but it never seems to work on a button as we can see they've tried to change it to red and just nothing happens with the colour of the button buttons seem to be one of the only things in BB6 you can't change the colour of as standard anyway now I've got a button there and I can run that and I can click away till my heart's content but it's not doing anything so I'm just going to kill it and I'm going to go back to my form and I'm going to double click on that button in design mode. You can always tell if you're in design mode, if you're in your object window, if there's checkered boxes all over it. So I double click on it and I go to somewhere in my code window which says private sub command go underscore click. Now this bit here means this is a private sub procedure. So it's a procedure that can only be used within this Visual Basic project or within this Visual Basic module to be precise and command go underscore click bit uh, means that this code that we put in between the start and the end here will be executed when we click on our go button and the first bit of code we're going to put in is the classic hello world example is to bring up a, a message on the screen saying hello world. Now to bring up a message on the screen the visual basic command is msgbox message box. And you put a space and <clears throat> this is one of the nice things about the VB6 IDE is that when you start to use a command it will often try and help you along the way. So we can see that the first thing that MSG box wants is what's called a prompt now our prompt is going to be our text that's going to appear in the message and it's just going to be hello <coughs> world 
Pose a quote, sir. Uh, the other parameters that we might enter, so these other things, we've done prompts, these other things are uh, optional. We don't have to use them. So we can get away with just that. Okay, so we've put in the code, we should try running it, we get our window pop up, we've got our button, we click on go, and we get our message on the screen, hello world. So that's worked. We OK it, we can close it, we could go and change uh, what it says in the prompt, and it would change what appears in the message box. So hopefully we can see how that works. That is a Visual Basic 6 application in its um, most one of its most simplest forms. Um, I'm going to say no to saving that. I'm going to load up the Visual Basic 6 application that I've just built, which is um, called Color Changer. You can see it's a, a very small amount of code but it can do something pretty cool. And we run it and we've got the scroll bars and if you move, start to move the scroll bars colors of things start to change on the screen. Now we could make VB6 apps fun and go on like this all day. There are more serious uses for them, and that's something we'll look at in the next video. Thanks for watching.